Hey, what is going on everyone? So in today's video, I just want to talk about a uh, Pelican case that I've seen going around uh, Facebook and other sites that seems to be working well with the analog pockets. So you know what? I picked it up and I figured I'd just give it a shot and I'll compare it to some of the other cases that I have on hand from the water field to another generic case that I got off of Amazon just to give you guys ideas. And I've talked about these, these other cases in the past. So, but all right. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to pretty much show you from Amazon what the Pelican case looks like. And then we'll come back and just show it to you with the analog pocket itself. And you know what? I'm going to throw in the original DMG Game Boy since they're very similar in size. All right, everyone. So before we start, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone who's been doing it so far. You are all awesome. We passed 400 subscriptions. That's amazing. I never thought I would have got that much. So thank you, everyone. All right, and let's get into it. All right, so here it is. Here's the Pelican 1040 Micro case. This is what I'm going to be showing you with the analog pocket. And I'll also throw in the uh, DMG Game Boy just to see how it feels. Now, this is what I've been seeing going around in the Internet, just different, you know, Facebook and other sites, Reddit, that people have been using. So I figured, you know what, let me just give this a shot. Let me show it to everybody. That way you can see how it looks. Now, right off the bat, as you can see, this is $20. It's water resistant, not waterproof. It's a uh, pretty hard material, so I'll show you that whenever, when I go to the next scene. So, now, it's very good. I haven't had any issues with it. It looks like it's also compatible with the iPhone 4. I don't know who still has the iPhone 4, but it is compatible with the iPhone 4. And let me just show you, this is the other case that I'll be talking about as well. I've done many different videos on this already. It's a pretty good one for $8. You really cannot go wrong. And here is the Waterfield case that I'll also look at. This one's a little bit more expensive. Let's just say you just choose no accessories. You're looking at $50. So out of the three, this one is definitely more expensive, but we'll get more into that as well. All right. So let's just uh, cut to the next scene now. Okay. So here we are. Here is the Pelican case 1040 micro case series. So I'm not too sure how many people are familiar with Pelican cases. There, I've seen them used many, there many different times in many different places. You'll have ones that are as big as a suitcase that can carry all types of equipment in it to ones as, as big as this and even ones that go for the iPhone. So there are many different applications, many different stuff you can get for the Pelican case, even an Apple, uh, what do you call those, the Air Tags. You can even get one one of those little cases for that. So that's just showing you one of the many different ways that you can use these things. Now, let me just show you how it looks. Here is the water, the water field case. As you can tell here. Let's just move some of this stuff out of the way. That way you guys can get a better look. Now, as you can tell, I want to do it better side by side. Your water field. It looks like it's a little bit bigger, but this is definitely a little bit more bulkier. I will say one of the things you're going to be missing out on is storage for the games. You'll have to do something, figure out something separate. I've seen also a uh, foam that you can put over the top side. Now you won't get that, that cool look, like just being able to see directly into the analog pocket. Now here's another one that I have, I believe it's called the AM sleeve. And this one's pretty good too for the price. I believe it was less than $10. So this was less than $10 and you could do a lot of stuff with this case just from throwing this in here. And this was originally made for the 3DS and it fits perfectly. This was this is a pretty good case, I'm not gonna lie. For the price you get too. So check it out, we throw in an Easy Flash. You can fit a couple of games in here, no problem. This is a very good alternative. Now it doesn't offer you the same kind of protection that the, that the Waterfield or probably the Pelican would, but it does give you good enough protection. Now, let's just go in and show you how it looks like when you put the analog in here. So here we are. Now, I'm sure people have already seen how this looks on other people's Facebook pages, Reddits, etc. Now, it looks pretty cool. Let me just move the camera that way you all can see. So as you can tell, 
This is how it looks. It looks very good. Definitely gets the job done. One of the things I would say is a little bit of space, which I guess works for grabbing it. Now, one of the gripes that I had when I was kind of working on it before is that if you kept it like this for too long, occasionally, yeah, see, it can kind of slide out. So I've seen Amazon selling foam, but for the purpose of this uh, review, I just figure I just do it without the foam because this is what you get when you purchase it for $20. And this is what I've been seeing online too. This is usually how I see people are displaying it. Now it does look very good. I, I do like the way it looks. I just don't like that it just slides out like that. I feel like that can be an issue when you have it inside of a bag. You don't want it constantly moving around. You might scratch it up. So let me just put the camera down and now, okay. So I showed you that. Just a quick overview of the actual uh, water fuel case here. Now this is $50. This one does cost more, but I feel like it is better in the long run. On top of the protection you get, you have a nice felt inside. It feels really good. I wish I could show you other than just your picture, but your video, sorry. So you can tell it looks good, it feels good. And you have room for your games, which is also very important. I, I believe I showed in one of my other videos, you could probably hold up to six Game Boy games for, or four, sorry, six Game Boy Advance games, or you could do four Game Boy Advance games, two Game Boy Color games. So you can definitely cram this with games. Here, you probably, probably most you're gonna fit is maybe three to four Game Boy Advance games. It's gonna be a little bit more bulgy. It doesn't offer you the same type of protection on the inside, but it does good. This is very good for, like some, like uh, just something you want to throw in your bag real quick. And the price for under $10, you cannot go wrong with this either if that's what you need for your budget. Now, one other thing I wanted to show, I feel like this Pelican case, if you have something like a, a modded Game Boy, uh, DMG Game Boy, this is probably might be better for you since this is thicker than the analog pocket. Now, if I just show you real quick, here's a side by side. The original DMG is thicker. As you can tell, there we go, it is thicker. So that being said, it will probably not move around as much, but you know what, let's just see how it looks live. And I'll turn it on too, the way you can see with the game going. Okay, let's put it back in. All right, you know, I mean, let me just clean it real quick. All right, so here we are, it started up. I just want to rather just show it actually started up too. Now, I think the volume is all the way down. Yes, it is. Now, here we go. Let's just put it in right here. There you go. Now, this one does fit a little bit more snug because it's a little bit bigger. Now, it's not gonna go all the way in, but this is as far as it goes. But it's close, that's it. Now, this, I feel like, it's not slide around as much so you can tell it's not really moving because it's I feel like it's a little bit longer as well I mean the I mean width wise it's a little bit longer and with so this fits more snug so this is definitely something good I would recommend for a DMG Game Boy because it doesn't look like I have the same issue I have with the pocket so I'm open it up and there you go and you still have enough room to pull it out and continue playing your game. So that is definitely definitely something to consider if you have the D and modded G DMG like I do here. I actually like it for the DMG. I think it's a good way to also protect it. So definitely something to consider for the DMG. I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, this is gonna be like water resistant, dust proof crush proof it's going to give you all types of protection not for not for uh, diving or swimming so yeah, don't go swimming with this but definitely it is definitely does a good job with the dmg i'm not sold on it for the analog pocket but it would definitely offer a lot more protection than the water field even though it kind of moves around if it's upside down but it's still a good alternative to the water field if that's kind of what you like honestly the way it looks with the clear it just it really does look good 
that is something that I, I can see why people are definitely attracted to it. And with the analog, it looks really good. So just I'm gonna do it one more time that way everyone can see it. Let's just put in a let's go try a game. Okay. Because it looks really good when you just have it here. Okay. Now there we go. It's Donkey Kong going there. Very good job of muffling the sound. The sound's all gone. It does look, it does look nice. I ain't, I'm, I ain't gonna lie on that. It looks really good with the analog pocket. But all right, here we are. This is my quick take on the Pelican 1040 Micro K series. All right, everyone. Please, if you enjoyed the video, and you made it this far. Please leave a like and sub to the channel. Thank you very much, and have a good one.